How's it going everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to do the full on review for the Noble Flyknit uh, Runner. Now I got this shoe when it first came out uh, with the initial pre-order for the shoe. I think they had this black, they had this black one, a uh, blue colorway and then like a like a cream colorway. Um, but I got the black one because the black goes good with everything and I thought the, the, like, the black to the 100 green combo was the coolest one. Um, but unfortunately the best thing about this shoe is the looks and that it's comfortable. Um, there are a lot of things I don't like the shoe that I'm going to break down uh, in this video, but I want to give Noble the benefit of the doubt. It's their first running shoe. It's such a different and unique style of shoe with the outsole, um, the flying it upper. I mean, it's kind of like an Adidas type shoe, like they're a boost type shoes or um, NMDs, I think they're called. But it's definitely very, very different. It's almost like a soft, like woven blanket type material. Um, so, first, I'll talk about the things that I did like about the shoe, and then we'll get into the things I didn't like. So. I ran in the shoe about four to five times. I did some uh, longer interval pieces, like I think mile repeats or at like a uh, five one k repeats, something like that. I also did like some short sprints. The shoe is incredibly comfortable. There's so much cushion in this shoe. It's very absorbent uh, with each land, and you feel like you're just gliding on the ground every time. It is not like there is a bunch of uh, like thick padding here. Like it's thick, but it's definitely uh, malleable and smooth and comfortable and. Um, that's definitely not the big issue at all. Like, I, I wear these shoes almost every day at this past like week or two just because they're so freaking comfortable and I love, them, love wearing them way more than my Nanos or my Strike Movement shoes. Next good thing about this shoe is that it gets me a lot of compliments. Um, whenever someone sees this shoe, they're like, whoa, what kind of shoe is that? How is it? Do you like it? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's a, definitely a big eye catcher. Like, I like the suit shoe just for the fact that um, it looks really cool. Uh, it's a really dope looking shoe. But uh, that's... Essentially, those two things are really the only pros that I have for this shoe. Um, another cool thing that they did with the shoelaces is that they're reflective, but I mean, a lot of, a lot of um, shoe companies do that now. It's not like a huge game changer, but that also ties into like the first thing that I don't like with the shoelaces is that the, the um, shoelaces that they come with are incredibly thick. They're super, super thick, and unless you double knot them, they will most likely become undone. So um, you have to definitely double knot these shoes. And even when I tie them up as much as I can, it doesn't feel like the shoe is wrapping around my foot as much as it should. Probably because it's stretching, and it's very uh, flexible, so that's allowing my foot to feel like there's not much around it to support it. But when it comes to this sock liner, I don't know if it's just I've been putting the shoe on wrong or what it is, but when I put this sock liner on, it feels like every time I go to uh, take a step while I'm in a run, not when I'm walking, but when I'm running, it feels like my heel is going to slide out the back of this. Like this, the sock liner is super loose and does not uh, give me the support that I would like around my ankle when it comes to a run. It feels like every single time I go running, my heel is going to end up sliding out the back of the shoe. I know it doesn't, but it's not a good feeling to have. Like if I go take one you know, weird step off a curb or if I twist or something like that, then my shoe's gonna go flying off and I might hurt my ankle or something like that. So that's uh, one thing I didn't like. Another thing is with this fly knit upper, there are a lot of strings that are uh, unraveling on the, the fly knit of the shoe. I've been slowly cutting them off as I see them and kind of like trying to burn them a little bit so it doesn't happen again. But there's a lot of these little, especially around the sock line, these little strings that are coming off and I feel like that's gonna, in a couple months from now, um, become a big issue to where the shoes become less and less uh, structurally sound and just start coming coming apart or not giving me the same support on my foot as I would like. Also, not on this shoe, but the other one, the little noble uh, front tab right in front of the toes is slowly peeling off. Um, I don't know if that's just my personal defect or other shoes have been doing that. And this overall, for the price of this shoe, I would definitely not buy it again. Um, it's an incredibly cool looking shoe. It's comfortable to walk around in. It looks like a casual like Adidas type shoe you just wear around because that's the new fad nowadays. Everyone's getting these runners that um, you know are meant for running, but they're just wearing like as casual shoes and um, kind of like wearing them with joggers and that kind of stuff. Whereas uh, their true purpose is to run in them. Um, this, the, I'm pretty sure the purpose of the shoe is to go running in. I don't think they made a shoe just for styles, but it is not getting me. Um, what I want when it comes to a running shoe. I'd almost rather rather run in my Nanos than run in these things. Going back to the sock liner thing, um, I'm a size 9 shoe in everything. Metcons, Nanos, Strike Movements, those all fit me just fine. I have no issues with those shoes. Whereas with this shoe, I got a size 9 again and I that d didn't change the fact that this uh, this fly knit upper with the sock liner uh, didn't give me the right support. I don't know if I 
I feel like I, it feels like I do have a little bit of space in the toe box, like I could go a half size down, but I don't know if that would make that much of a difference to help it support around my ankle and make uh, any, any difference to uh, the support around my foot. One other thing I had to get used to also was this heel tab in the back. So you'll notice the heel tab is like really big and then it kind of swoop, swoops in and then pushes down on your heel. So in, in this back little bit where my heel actually is sitting on the uh, outsole of the shoe, this little lip right here is a lot of space and that might also do with the fact that I feel like my foot's flying out. So now that I'm really thinking about it, like there's a lot of different things I feel like would have to change to make sure this foot's uh, or the shoe is properly supported around my foot. I'd probably, instead of having this be so thick around, I'd probably have them cut it in a little bit to where it's not as um, protruding out. Uh, I feel like that would definitely make a difference because you look at all other shoes, shoes don't go like this at a diagonal angle. Shoes, you know, go sit straight down from where your Achilles is and then goes forward to your foot. This is not this huge slope of a, of a back heel. So I think that's partially to do with the issue of it coming off of my foot um, in, in addition to everything else going on. But I don't hate the shoe. I like the shoe just for styles. I would not buy the shoe for running, which is disappointing because I, I love the shoe. They come out with a bunch of new colorways. Um, and I wanted to, because of doing that, I want to get this video out soon so people want to see this review and maybe um, stop them up from buying the shoe as a running shoe. Very comfortable, very cool to walk around in, coach in, go do your errands in. Um, but if you were buying this hoping to get a really cool uh, new running shoe to your repertoire, I would not do this one. Um, if the shoe cost me $160, if I were to buy it again, I'd probably only buy it if it was around $100. If that, probably um, a little less. But I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give the shoe a 6. I'm not going to just you know forget them, leave them in my closet. I still wear them. They're still comfortable but I would not uh, do much else in these shoes. So if you guys have any other questions or comments on the Noble Running Shoe, make sure you leave them down below in the comment section. If you guys have already bought them, leave me your opinion on this shoe. I think it's a good shoe, but not the best uh, by, by far. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe for plenty more, and we'll see you guys next time.